get restriction hug. You challenge us to make some super hard school supplies. So here they are. We're gonna tackle some of the hardest DIYs we've done on this channel to date. Last week we gave away a MacBook Air and this week we actually got a new one to give away. So if you guys want to join that giveaway, all you need to do is join this wonderful family here and click the subscribe button. And also the other thing you need to do is to subscribe to my second channel, Reacting Collage, where I do daily reactions and that is linked down below. Let's get this video to 160,000 thumbs up. I'm gonna give you guys three seconds to find that thumb up button. Three, two, one. Have you guys done it yet? Also guys, don't forget to turn on the bell for notifications so you guys don't miss a video. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. Let's go! Remember, today's test is pretty hard, so I'm gonna let you use your calculator for it. Yes! Yes! Whoa, those colors are so pretty! Yeah, but it's not gonna help me pass this test. Why not? The test is gonna be so easy because she let us use these. Yeah, but, but mine, mine. Mine's too yummy. I'm gonna pass this test. Yes, that's right. We managed to make an edible calculator. You're gonna need some fondant, Skittles, and white chocolate. First, take your fondant and start kneading it with your hands to warm it up and soften it. Next, you want to press it flat and then slowly mold it with your hands into a rectangular shape, which will form the base of your calculator. Use a pinching motion with your fingers to create sharper corners. You'll end up with something like this. Now before it dries too much, get your skittles and dip one side in a tiny amount of water and press it into the fondant. The water helps stick the skittle down when the fondant is dry. You can actually lick it as well, but I didn't say that. Make a few rows of skittles which will be your calculator button. Finally take your white chocolate and cut out a thin rectangle and press that in at the top. This step can be very fragile depending on the thickness of the chocolate, so be gentle. This is your calculator screen. Just finish it up by adding a few lines with a knife. And now, you're done. Okay, so you won't trick anyone who looks closely, but this looks super cute and colorful, so I was pretty happy with how it turned out. Wendy, look at your pants, they're so pretty and colorful. Aw, oh, thanks. I made them myself. What? That's crazy! You can make pens? It's really simple actually. Like, what do you need? Like, a machine? Plastic? Um, Jolly Ranchers, Starburst... Huh? Um... Hey, do you want one? No? Crazy? Guys, I'm so proud of this edible Jolly Rancher pen. To make it, you'll need some Jolly Ranchers, some thick straws, some pens, Starburst, and blue tack. First, remove the pen tube from the pen and also keep the pen top. Next, cut out your straw so it's about one centimeter shorter than the pen tube. That way, you'll be able to fit the pen top onto the tube. Next, I rolled up some blue tack to plug the bottom of the straw closed and then took my pen tube and just pushed the nib through the middle of the blue tack. Next, I used about 5 red Jolly Ranchers and melted them in the microwave. You can use any color of course. Now this mixture is extremely hot, so be careful when handling this, I am not kidding. You basically want to pour it into your straw and yes, it can get a bit messy, but that's okay, it'll still look great in the end. While it's still soft, use your fingers to position the pen tube so it sets right in the middle of the straw, because that looks the best. Now wait for it to dry and then cut the straw off, either using some thin scissors or a knife. You may want to get your parents to help you out with this because it's not that easy, very dangerous and you can hurt yourself. When it's finally out, you'll have something like this. Now take some Starburst of a matching color and use a small amount to shape the nib of the pen. 
and then flatten out some more to wrap around the body of the pen for a pen grip. Finally, pop the pen lid onto the end and you're done. What do you think guys? Pretty cool, right? I made a few pens using different colors and oh my gosh, I was so happy with these. Wenji, you know you shouldn't chew on your pencils. There's all kinds of germs on them. Oh, okay. A few moments later. Hey, you just told me not to chew on my pencil, now you're chewing on yours. But this is different, it's meant to be chewed on. See? We made some edible gummy pencils in my previous video and now we're going to make a different type of edible pencil here using licorice and some rolled icing mix. First you're going to make a pencil lead by cutting off a thin strip of licorice. Next take your icing and start massaging it. I use this yellow icing but you can try different colors if you like. You basically want to turn this into a long thin tube and then flatten it out. I turned my highlighter into a mini rolling pin for this because it was just there. When that's done, just cut off the top and the bottom of your icing to match the length of your licorice tube. Then start rolling the licorice up inside the tube. It'll end up looking like this and you'll just need to wait for it to dry. When it's dry, the pencil will become solid and you can take a knife and start shaving down the tip to reveal the licorice underneath. And that is it. I think this is probably the most convincing looking edible pencil we've made so far. And I know people either love or hate licorice, but I personally like it. So which team are you? Here, it's for you. Oh, thanks. You're the best. Wait, what are you doing? That's my coffee! You told me to drink it! No, I told you to eat the no! What? Why would I do that? Fine! If you don't want it, I'll have it! And I'll take my coffee back. I guess I'll be the first to say to make these edible post-it notes, you'll need some edible rice paper, edible paints, some edible markers, and some glucose syrup. First, you need to cut your edible paper into squares. I made mine seven centimeters by seven centimeters and managed to turn each piece of A4 paper into 12 squares. Oh, oh, you were the only one. You were the only one that kept me alive. Next, squeeze out some of your edible paints into a container and use a brush to paint them onto both sides of your edible paper. If you have fluoro paint, it'll look even better. Now wait for these to dry and you'll have some colorful post-it notes that you can write on with edible markers. You can even make them feel sticky and stick them together by dabbing some glucose syrup or honey along an edge if you want. Hey, Wendy, can I borrow your ruler? No. Why? I thought we were friends. We are. Why won't you let me borrow your ruler? Are you angry at me? I'm sorry, what did I do? I'm not angry at you, I'm sharing my ruler with you. an edible ruler, you'll want to start with your sugar icing mixture and start kneading it first. When it's easy to manage, roll it out into a long roughly 30 centimeter tube. Again, I use my highlighter for my emergency mini rolling pin and rolled this out so it was flat. You basically want to make sure an actual 30 centimeter ruler can fit over your shape. 
Then just take a knife and cut the excess icing off by tracing around the edges of the ruler. Now you just need to wait for this to dry. When it's dry, take an edible black marker and start drawing the ruler lines along one edge of the ruler until you're done along the whole way. And you can use a ruler to do this. Next, fill in the numbers and you're done! The best thing about this edible ruler is that you can actually use it as a ruler and then eat it later. So guys, did we do a good job today making these DIYs? I found them super challenging and hard. Also let me know which one your favorite is down below. And let's have a look at what happened on Reacticorns this week. Oh, there's a, there's cat a cat looking at picture. Mm -hmm. Cat playing with. Oh. Going for the pin. Oh, putting it in the shirt. Let's put it in the shirt. <laughs> oh, no. And during the week, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'll be doing behind the scenes and things like that. So I will see you guys there. And that's all we have time for today. I'm going to miss you guys so, 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 so much. So until next week or on Reacticons, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.